Hello my dear listeners and welcome back to the Kapil Gupta Career Pod show. Your go-to podcast for all things career, education and personal growth. And today we have an exciting and super relevant topic to discuss. Internships. Now whether you are a college student, recent graduate or someone looking to explore a new field, internships play a crucial role in your career development. But how do you find a good internship? and what should you expect during one and most importantly how can you make sure you get the most out of it so well in today's episode we'll be covering everything you need to know about internships from what internships are to how you can convert them into full time jobs we've got it all so grab your notebook and let's dive into this essential step in your career journey Hello all. I'm Kapil Gupta, founder of Study Abroad Academy. I'm on a mission to coach and mentor 100,000 high school students and help them realize the dream of studying in the best universities of the world and build happy and successful careers for themselves. All right. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is an internship? Now an internship is essentially a short-term work experience offered by companies or organizations to help students recent graduates or even professionals looking to change careers get hand on exposure to the workplace it's like a preview of what a full time job in a particular field will look like now internships typically last between 1 to 6 months depending on the company the role and the industry the primary purpose is for you to gain real world experience and get a feel for how things work in your chosen field but here's a key point internships can either be paid or unpaid yes unpaid internships exist and while the idea of working without pay might not sound attractive the experience and networking you gain can often outweigh financial compensation Now think of an unpaid internship as an investment in your future. Now that you know what an internship is, let's break down the types of internships you might come across. Because not all internships are created equal and each one has its own unique structure and benefits. Number 1, full-time versus part-time. A full-time internship will have you working the same hours as regular employees typically around 8 hours a day 5 days a week now these internships are more immersive but might be difficult to manage alongside college classes on the other hand a part time internship allows more flexibility often designed to fit around your academic schedule the second virtual versus in person post pandemic Virtual internships have become increasingly popular. Now these allow you to work from the comfort of your home. However, in-person internships provide more opportunities for direct mentorship and team interaction, which can be beneficial when you are just starting. In third, summer versus semester. Now the most common internship timeline is the summer internship usually lasting from 2 to 3 months when students are free from their academic commitments however some internships can also happen during the semester and you'll need to balance your coursework alongside it so depending on your academic schedule and your personal preferences you can choose the type of internships that suits you best next let's talk about why internships are such a crucial part of your career journey first practical experience now internships give you the opportunity to take what you have learned in the classroom and apply it in real world scenarios now whether it's managing a project writing code or working on marketing strategies you'll get to see how things work in practice 
Now this experience is invaluable when you are looking to land your first full time job. And secondly, skill development. Internships help you develop both hard skills like coding, writing or designing and soft skills such as communication, teamwork and time management. Now these are skills that employers look for and the more experience you have, the more competitive you'll be in the job market. And thirdly, networking. One of the best things about internships is that they help you build connections in your industry. The people you meet during an internship, whether it's a supervisor or colleagues, could be the very people who help you land in your next job. Remember, networking is not about asking for favors. It's about building genuine professional relationships. Then fourth, resume building. Let's face it, internships look great on your resume. So they show potential employers that you've had hands-on experience and that you're serious about your career. In fifth, career exploration. Lastly, internships give you the chance to explore different career paths. Not sure if you really want to be an engineer or a marketer? An internship lets you test the waters and see what you are truly passionate about. So now that we know how important internships are. Let's move on to the big question. How do you actually find one? One, university career services. Now, many colleges and universities have career centers that assist students in finding internships. These centers often have connections with companies and organizations that are looking to hire interns. Take advantage of this resource. Then second, job portals. Websites like LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor and Internshala are excellent platforms for finding internships. Now you can filter by location, industry and type of internship. Set up notifications to stay updated on new opportunities. Thirdly, networking. Now it isn't just for finding jobs. It works for internships too. Attend career fairs, connect with alumni and use social media platforms like LinkedIn to reach out to professionals in your field. Don't hesitate to send a polite message asking about internship opportunities. Number four, company websites. Many companies post internship opportunities on their own websites, usually under the careers or internship programs section. Now, if there's a specific company you're interested in, go to their website. Check for any available roles. And fifth, cold outreach. Now, finally, there's nothing wrong with taking a proactive approach. Now, if there's a company you would love to intern for, but don't see any postings, reach out directly. Craft a well-written email expressing your interest in the company and explain why you would be a great fit. You'd be surprised how often this works. Then once you've secured an internship, you might be wondering what will it actually be like. So well, here's what you can typically expect. Learning opportunities. As an intern, you are there to learn. Most companies will assign you a mentor or manager who will guide you through tasks and provide feedback. Variety of tasks Depending on the company, you might be doing a wide range of tasks. This could be anything from administrative work to participating in big projects. The variety can help you develop a broad skill set. And thirdly, challenging assignments. Don't be surprised if you are given challenging tasks. Internships are designed to stretch your abilities and help you grow. And then team collaboration. Many internships involve teamwork, allowing you to work closely with colleagues and learn how to collaborate effectively. And then performance evaluation. Some internships in conclude with a formal evaluation of your work. Now, this feedback can be incredibly valuable for your future career. So, if you want to really stand out during your internship, here's how to make the most of it. Be proactive. Don't just wait for tasks to be handed to you. Ask for more responsibilities. Show eagerness to learn and offer your help whenever possible. Network, 
network and network get to know your colleagues and attend any networking events that come up the connections you make during an internship can be invaluable when it comes to finding full time jobs then ask questions internships are learning experiences so don't be afraid to ask questions if something is unclear it shows that you are interested and want to improve then seek feedback regularly ask for feedback from your supervisors to ensure you are on the right track and to improve your performance constructive criticism is your best friend during this time then document your work keep a portfolio of your achievements and projects these will be useful when you are applying for future jobs as they'll showcase the skills that you have gained and let's address the elephant in the room the difference between paid and unpaid internships now paid internships are more common in competitive industries like finance tech and engineering now these internships offer a stipend to salary while providing professional experience but unpaid internships are more common in non profits creative fields and startups while they might not offer monetary compensation they often provide a wealth of experience learning opportunities and networking potential that said always check the legal regulations surrounding unpaid internships in your country some regions have specific laws to ensure that unpaid interns aren't exploited so one of the most or i would say one of the ultimate goals of an internship is to turn it into a full time job so how do you make that happen impress your employer treat your internship like a long interview be punctual professional and always deliver quality work express interest if you're interested in staying with the company full time let your supervisor or manager know sometimes opportunities aren't advertised and showing interest can work in your favor then stay connected even a full time role isn't immediately available stay connected with your colleagues and supervisors they may think of you when a position opens up in the future so there you have it internships are an invaluable part of any career journey offering practical experience skill development networking opportunities and a potential pathway to full time employment now whether you're looking for your first internship or hoping to turn an internship into a full time job remember that it's all about learning growing and building relationships take every opportunity that comes your way stay proactive and most importantly don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone internships are where you lay the foundation for your future success so if you have questions suggestions or just want to say hello feel free to reach out i am here to help and engaging meaningful conversations with you now there's a link in the description of the podcast that can help you connect with me and if you have found value in the podcast help us reach more listeners by sharing with your friends family and colleagues who might benefit from our discussions and please don't forget to subscribe and leave a review so thank you so much for joining me today on the kapil gupta career podcast let's keep building careers and chasing our dreams together until next time this is kapil gupta signing off